Kristen Sayer here with you. Sorry if this video is a little late. And today's product review will be on the Van Gogh 24 half pan set, which as you can see, I've already doodled on. Uh, because I really like to doodle on my half pan sets for some reason. And um, I got this set a while back and I just recently used it. And as you can see, this is how it looks from the inside. It has this large mixing area. Over here is the place where you put the brush and over here is your 24 colors which are really pretty. There are half pans and yes, they're open stock. You can buy the color with the half pan or you can simply refill it in with any kind of color tube. Now, in terms of price, this for us Egyptians probably has a very decent price compared to other string grades. So a lot of people actually tend to use this because we don't have any kind of artist grade, we only have student grades and the student grades we have is pretty much expensive. This one costs about 250 to 300 Egyptian pounds while this one on the other hand costs almost 170 to 200 pounds. So this is just 12 colors, this is the Windsor and Newton's and this is 24 colors and there is less than 100 pounds different so most people would tend to use this or buy this because it's bigger and it has the same exact quality as Windsor and Newton and it's very affordable there is also the pocket size of this one and yes again it's doodled and this is how it looks from the inside it's pretty much used I actually used this and this was the reason why I decided the, to buy the bigger one this is around 130 Egyptian pounds so it's really also I guess good price and here is how it compares to the Windsor & Newton uh, pocket size set it's bigger it has more colors um, yes you can buy again whatever half pens and put them inside of this or you just refold them with the tubes and you can actually uh, this has a brush and put it with my set of brushes there is this little tiny area over here you can actually uh, put the end of the brush which comes with this one and just pick it up and then clean the tray or if I can remove it okay so simply pop it up you can actually remove this as you can see here it's a little uh, need some, needing of some cleaning and you can put your mixing tray over here and once you're done you just pop it in back I usually have an extra tray like these ones that I use um, because I do a lot of mixing in general so this is really small for me but it's really good the brush that comes with this is also really good okay, so let's put these aside and let me show you the quality of the paint. Now I'm gonna show you first some really old stuff that I painted maybe like two years ago. I colored these on uh, not watercolor paper, okay? Not watercolor paper, just regular thick 350 gram paper that I use for mixed media and after two years with the quality of the paint I have to say it's pretty good. The colors have not faded away. Here's something I did recently on watercolor paper and probably this is where you can actually see how vibrant the paint is. Just zoomed outside a little bit. You can see this uh, or the paint and how vibrant it is once you use the right paper. And the mixing is beautiful. There is the, you can see here it's gradient over here and the hair itself, how did I mix two colors together as well as the wings themselves um, this painting well it has a little bit of pencil watercolor in them but just a little bit because I wanted to darken some really small fine details in the dress but you can tell how vibrant these colors are they're really easy to blend and they're really super fun to use and again, you can see here in on watercolor paper versus watercolor paper. This is the um, Arch watercolor paper, which is 100% cotton and is 300 grams. So definitely to get the best results out of watercolors, you would want to use the right paper to well, tell the difference. 
Um, it's a little bit hard to draw and I admit, especially that full press is kind of grainy but it's pretty beautiful and it will give you such beautiful uh, satisfying results. So I guess this is really it for this review. It's really such a short review but I don't really have anything to complain about this set. It's really beautiful, the colors are great, the price is reasonable, it is big but it is like it gives you more than enough space to do your mixing and here so the color does not like over mix together because you can see there's splattering all over. This is one of the issues I actually had over here which is the colors, well it may splatter on the other color because they're so close together but here it's big enough that if the color splatters around it, you don't have to worry. It's the same also with the small set. So I do recommend if you want to try this to get the pot size one or you can get this one, whatever you like. I personally like this one a lot because well, it's very light, it's fun, you can do on it as I did. But you just have the option of having more colors, bigger mixing area overall. And it's really also easy to take with you out anywhere. Or you can just buy one big, one small and then take this with you wherever you're doing your frill sketching and keep this at home. And again, you can refold them. That's it for this review. There will be a speed art for this one and uh, or this painting and how I did it because this one actually took quite some really fun experimenting stuff so I wanted to record this and tell you how I made this piece and with that I end up this quick review guys I hope that you have enjoyed this and I'll see you in another video so see you later bye bye